That's right, uh, Susan. Good evening, everybody. The Rocket Lounge is back open tonight. In fact, you can see that the front door is propped open. There's loud music coming from the, uh, inside. But uh, it was early this morning that a bizarre altercation took place when patrons were just trying to do the right thing by escorting a rowdy customer outside. A short time later, a deadly confrontation took place. So they're trying to save them, and I guess they're not having luck. No luck in attempts made by paramedics to save a man whose altercation with patrons of the Rocket Sports Lounge would cost him his life. They took him out of the truck and he's kind of like an overweight guy. I think he's a like, like Latino, Latino guy, a little bit overweight. Um, and you can see he's trying to give him CPR, but... Uh, but the man, identified as 40-year-old Miguel Lopez Santos of Los Angeles, was pronounced dead at the scene. But what killed him? Santos had been kicked out of the bar, then apparently drove his truck on the sidewalk, almost striking other patrons, ramming into this tree, and finally crashing into a neighboring business. Amelia Che, who lives next door, was awakened by the commotion. Oh, yes, it scares me. Everyone who lives over here, of course. Yeah, because we never know who's, what kind of people is coming, more now with this kind of sick, yeah. After the collision, Santos was forced out of his car by a group of men, and a fight ensued. Santos ultimately died, but it's not known whether his death was caused by the vehicle collision or injuries from the fight. Either way, this young man says those other bystanders went too far. Just cold. They should have just held him down and wait till the police came in and got him. Instead of just killing him, that's just cold. Is it shocking to you? Yeah. And back live with you, you can see that uh, the establishment is covered with the security cameras and detectives are using those to try to determine exactly what happened here. Now the coroner still has not uh, uh, determined the cause of death, but if it is determined that Santos died from being beaten, then criminal charges more than likely will be filed, although it is not clear yet whether detectives have any potential suspects in mind. We're live in Hawthorne tonight, Rick Lozano, Fox 11 News.